Yeah, definitely. Uh, probably, probably three of the toughest that I've, I've experienced in my test career, uh, without a doubt. I think it was the the surface was probably the toughest that I've had as well, um, and, and certainly the. The cricket itself was was really difficult. So um, I mean, credit to India, they they kind of bowled well, and uh, yes, yeah, so unfortunately we, we come out on the wrong side this game. Well, in terms of of not throwing a wicket away, I, you know, I still think we could have got bowled out for 70 or 100 in the second innings. There were so many plays and misses, uh, edges that could have gone to hand. Uh, so it's 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 easy to say that. We could have did the first, how we batted in the second innings, we batted in the first innings, but I think the circumstances were a lot different. As I said, some, had can, some balls go to hand, some balls don't go to hand. Uh, and us scoring, we scored very slowly. So I don't think we were as positive. Um, but it was just disappointing in the first innings not to, to get a score closer to them. Um, and I, I, would, I would think 200, chasing 200 would have been a, a more apt turtle. Um, if I look at their first innings, I think they were about 30 runs too much uh, from our bowling perspective. And even in the second innings, I'll be very honest with you, I don't think it was a, it was a 220 first innings wicket and neither was it a 170. I think we could have got India out for at least 140 and that probably would have changed the, the complex of the game a bit more. I think if you look at the first innings, you know, Imran does have a tendency of, of picking up wickets but at the same token, leaking a bit of runs. He's, uh, that's the type of bowler he is. Um, I found it difficult to use him in the first innings because of oh, leaking a bit of runs here and there. Uh, and I certainly felt Simon was somebody who could get us a wicket as well as keep it tight. Uh, when you are 100 and, what was it, 140 behind or something like that, to find the balance, I mean, he picked up five wickets and I know it's easy to say, why don't you bring him on? If I knew he was going to pick up five wickets, I would have opened the bowling with him. Um, and then you've got to look at some of the dismissals. Obviously, the Indians were looking to score and there were a few you know, wide ones, and I've got to, as a captain, measure it up, how many wicket-taking deliveries are they going to be? Um, so, in, in hindsight, I don't have any regrets because at the time, I had a clear idea of what I need, needed from the team. Yeah, very disappointing. Uh, you know, fortunately, throughout my career, we've been traveling away and, and managing to play very good cricket. Uh, I suppose one kind of consolation would be that, you know, the conditions we've played at were probably never like I've had when I've traveled away from home. Um, and I suppose that type of uh, uh, that type of challenge that we haven't experienced before, um, it's a good reminder to us that listen, you'll be, you know, what, I'm just thinking back when I first started. The South African team almost looked very similar to what it is at the moment. Uh, we had some really great players in, you know, Jacques and, and Graham who were probably at their prime at that stage, uh, and some young guns who were coming into the team. I think it was myself, even AB was around. And at the moment, I think that our team is, is, is similar to that. Um, we're breeding a few younger guys coming in. Um, but to play on conditions like this, as I said before, I haven't played on this before in my life, anyway away from home. Um, so I suppose it's a bit of consolation because, you know, it was, uh, it was really challenging. Um, and you never know if we had come out to this before what would have happened. But it is very disappointing to, to lose a series after, away from home after nine years having been part of it, and I hope it doesn't happen again for us. We never want to lose any test match. Um, we kind of figured we're just going to bat for as long as we can and, and, and take each ball as it comes. You play and miss at one and you just got to let it go and, and hopefully deal with the next one. Uh, and you never know how close we would have got to, you know, at the end of the day. But uh, it was the right, after myself, Faf, and I think JP got out and even Dane, you know, the writing was on the wall. Um, yeah, but it was just disappointing to, to kind of lose the seas away from home after so long.